Darren, uh, we spoke during the week, you know, you're the highest ranked guy in this card. Um, Silence a lot of critics tonight with that performance. Yeah, I felt like uh, I've been around for a long time. Um, I've been, you know, winning losses. I've been going back and forth. And uh, I'm trying to put it together, change up my train a little bit. Uh, did go off the middle for a little bit, trying to work on uh, improving my game overall. And uh, I felt like today was a good performance. How did the guys at Alpha Mel, um, what kind of advice did they give you, especially like guys like Faber? Um, you know, the big thing that I really worked on is uh, footwork and uh, angles. And you know, we've been working with that Dillman, but they kind of showed me some tricks I really used in there in the fight. And uh, closing the distance with that stuff. And just compete with the top level guys day in and day out and have to go through that grind with those guys really bring you up to another level of uh, conditioning, another level of athleticism. Do you think your experience gave you another edge over Rob tonight? Yeah, I do. I mean, I've been around for a while. I fought all those top guys. I fought, you know, Mendez. I fought Stevenson. I fought a bunch of guys that's been in the top 10. And uh, I'm used to being diverse in those fights. You know, he hit me with a couple of good shots. and. Uh, I think that uh, how I recovered and he keep coming forward and hit him with my own good shots really surprised him and uh, it really wore him out in that fight. You're obviously known for being able to take a lot of hard shots, but how do you feel about his resilience? Because he managed to he managed to survive as well. Yeah, he did take some hard shots. You know, um, I rocked him. I thought in the third, and he. Uh, he kept fighting, you know. I, I put the pressure on him. He gave up his back, and uh, I kept on working him. And uh, he didn't. I mean, I broke him. I felt like, but he never gave up. I mean, he was fighting for every little inch till the end. Did he surprise you in any way, or did it kind of pan out how you expected? It? I'm not gonna say it panned out how I expected it. I mean, how I expect, how you want it in your yeah, head to come in there. It, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, how I seen him going, I knew he had the power. Um, I felt like I had speed and, uh, you know, like I said, I've been really working on these angles and setting up things and um, I really felt like I had the wrestling advantage. I mean, when I got him on the ground, I took advantage of it and uh, used my strengths against him. Is there anything you feel you could have done better in the fight? Uh, you know, I reached a couple of times for some of those uh, strikes, you know. I'm still tightening up my strikes, but I landed some good ones. Um, I still got some work to do, but I feel like I'm making an improvement and I felt like I landed some hard shots and not so many arm punches this fight. You said that you need an opponent to get you back into the top 10. Who do you think makes more sense for you next? I don't, I mean, I'd have to sit down and even look at the top 10 again. There's so many guys that's getting ready to fight in the top 10 that are uh, fighting each other. So I'm not even sure who's available, but I'm going to definitely be watching those guys and uh, talk to Sean Shelby and try to get one of those guys as soon as possible if he lets me. In, in the lead up to the fight, Rob Whitefield was saying that if you were going to wrestle him for 15 minutes, he wasn't going to be very happy about that. Um, you showed great wrestling pred uh, pedigree in there. And, you know, it seemed like you did exactly what he didn't want. You know, in terms of game plans and, you know, looking at a fight in hindsight, do you think that, you know, now you did everything you needed to do to counteract what, what, what Rob Whiteford does? I mean, he landed some good strikes. He, I mean, I mean, but I landed some good strikes. He can't say that he just went out there. And uh, I, mean, I was striking with them all the way to the end. But like I said in my interview, I'm not afraid to go out there and go with my strengths. And... Uh, if I feel like this is an advantage where I'm going to be have a huge strength, then I'm going for it. And I did have a huge advantage in that position, and uh, I got the fight done. And uh, I rocked him. He hit me with some good shots. It's uh, I thought it was still an exciting fight. Um, obviously, most people I go against don't want me to just wrestle with them and wear them out. They hate that, but that grindy style is my style, and I use it against the people. With that judo pedigree, obviously he comes in a lot because he wants to throw you, and you were landing a lot of shots, like you know, through the night because he was coming in. You know, did you did you start to notice that as the fight progressed? Yeah, like I said, I've only been working angles and my footwork, and when he presented something, he stepped big or he he's loading up for that big punch. I was waiting for it and uh, took my time and took advantage every time he did that. You said you had a great time with Team Alpha Male, and you want to tune up the finer elements of your your game. Is that something you're going to do more uh, in the future? Oh, yeah, I think I'd like to do it again. I mean, I, I think uh, I'm not sure about training camps and stuff like that, but I got a good relationship with those guys. And uh, if I can, I like to go out there and spend time with them once in a while, you know, just get different looks. And I think that's something I'm going to really need to do to bring me to the next level and have uh, different guys and uh, a lot of different options.